Hi folks, this is Klaus at Top Hydraulics. We're going to show you today how to swap the hydraulic system on an SSR convertible top. The list of tools needed is really minimal. You need uh, three sizes of screwdrivers, flat, small, medium and large. What we have here is an eighth inch, quarter inch and uh, 3 8 inch, um, a ratchet with extension and uh, 10 millimeter and 13 millimeter deep, so deep wall sockets, a um, pair of vice grips and a pair of cutters to cut zip ties. The whole hydraulic system for the SSR convertible top is accessible from the storage compartment and basically fully contained in there. What we're having is the pump in the middle and to the left side we have a main lift cylinder, we have the storage cover lock, we have the storage cover lift cylinder and we have the storage cover extension cylinder. On the right side again the main lift cylinder, storage cover lock, storage cover lift cylinder and storage cover extension or flipper cylinder. Now what can go wrong on this system you might ask yourself. The SSR is an awesome car and uh, it should have a hydraulic system that you don't have to worry about. All OEM hydraulic systems have their weak spots. Here are a few things that can go wrong and will go wrong eventually on your SSR's hydraulic system. Let's start with the pump. The pump can leak. The pump can have malfunctioning valves outside or inside. It can have failing seals inside. It can have wearing pistons. It can have a wearing electric motor. The pump pushes hydraulic fluid to the individual cylinders and the movement of the fluid is directed by the solenoids on the outside of the pump and on the and um, depending on the direction that the electric motor turns. Now that fluid is pushed through these tiny hoses into the hydraulic cylinders. Um, what can go wrong with the hoses? Well, the OEM manufacturer uh, put in as little as they could to make the system work, but um, it is not good for the long run. Basically, um, they made the walls of these hoses so thin that they will eventually uh, burst or crack. Many of you have heard about the hydraulic cylinders leaking. The cylinders will typically leak first on the bottom where you wouldn't expect it. That's because there are many seals inside these cylinders and typically the first seals to fail are somewhere around the mounting hole and um, you will have fluid just dripping from the bottom of the cylinder. It may appear as if the fluid was coming from where the hose goes into the cylinder but most likely it is one of the seals on the bottom of the cylinder. There are more seals that can and will go bad inside the cylinder. There are piston seals around the pistons, there are gland seals around the um, inserts that go into the cylinder, and there are rod seals that seal the black cylinder rod from the housing as the uh, cylinder moves up and down. Lastly, there are seals um, where the hoses go into the cylinder, which are the hydraulic hose ports. So we call those seals uh, the port seals. So what you get from Top Hydraulics is a completely upgraded system that should be worry-free for decades. You get upgraded seals inside the pump you get all new hoses made of better, slightly thicker material that will hold up better to kinking and uh, stretching and pressure in general. 
and you get fully rebuilt and upgraded cylinders that actually have seven new and upgraded seals per cylinder. Important to know is that the complete hydraulic system ships completely filled and primed and vented from top hydraulics, meaning you do not have to add any fluid, you don't have to mess with fluid. Uh, you simply swap this whole system into your car and it's going to be plug and play to work as soon as it's installed. Note on the pump's reservoir that there's a minimum and a maximum line and on this pump you can clearly see that the fluid is just at the maximum line where it's supposed to be when the top is fully retracted normally. So here's the pump again with the protective cover removed in the middle of the storage compartment. You will see the fill port for the hydraulic fluid and if you look very closely, you will see a maximum and minimum marker at the reservoir. Normally, you can see a clear uh, line of hydraulic fluid here for the current level of fluid, but that's not the case on this version that we're going to swap in a moment. Next, we will show you how to swap this system into your SSR. So here we have the new hydraulic system put into the storage compartment next to the old one. You see there is still some room left. Um, a person can still easily stand inside the storage compartment and it is not that difficult to get at the points where everything gets screwed in or attached. We are swapping the system piece by piece, meaning we take out one cylinder and put in the replacement, then take out the next one, put in the replacement and so forth, starting, for example, with the top that is the um, tonneau cover extension cylinder, then moving on to the tonneau cover lift cylinder, then the tonneau cover locks, then the main lift cylinders, and lastly, the pump. And we will show you this step by step.